because God <coughs> wants to bless you. Now, this is, a, the, this is part of it, and you know, we say this, and I, and I really believe this. If you're divorced, and your spouse is not remarried, it very well could be that reconciliation is still God's plan for you. Now you say, well, I know that would never happen because of this or that. Matthew 19, 26, Jesus said, with man it's impossible, with God all things are possible. Mm -hmm. It very well could be that God wants to do that kind of impossible thing that you say is impossible to ever happen. Good for anyone to ever change, for that to ever happen, it could very well be that God will do a miracle. Do you believe God still does miracles today? I know you're still with me. Do you believe Amen. that? Luke 18, 27, what's impossible with man is what? It's possible with God. with God. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So this is the deal. This is living right. When you live right, when you have the right relationship with your spouse and with your friends and with your fellow believers, it helps you pray right. How you treat one another within the body of Christ impacts your prayer life. And how you treat your spouse impacts your prayer life. This is the, in 1 Peter 3, he says this, The one who desires life to, and to love and to see good deeds, good days, he must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. He must turn away from evil. He must seek peace. For the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous. His ears are tend to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who eat. So now we'll go back to Matthew 19. Let's go back to 19. In Matthew 19, Jesus says this. In response to the disciples, the disciples come to him in verse 10, and it says, if the relationship of the man and his wife is like this, it's better not to marry. So what are they saying? Stop here, just look at me just for a second. What are the disciples saying? If I have to stay married to that woman the rest of my life, isn't that what they're saying? Maybe we shouldn't even get married. <laughs> That's pretty serious. They understood what Jesus was saying. Now, a lot of the church doesn't understand what Jesus was saying, but the disciples understood what Jesus was saying there. And he says this, his answer is verse 11, he says, but he said to them, not all men can accept this statement, but only to those who have been given. There are eunuchs who were born that way from the mother's womb. Now, a eunuch is somebody that, that never marries. They were born that way from the mother's womb. There are eunuchs who were made eunuchs by men, and there were eunuchs who made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of God. He was able to accept this, let him accept it. So he's saying this, some, some people are never going to marry, and that's God's plan for them. Some are never going to marry because that's their choice. I had somebody tell me, and I, I won't embarrass who it was, you might be able to know who this was, but somebody told me they never were married, and, and they're in their older years. They said, well, my mother-in-law never had any daughters. <coughs> that's their answer. <coughs> <laughs> mother in law. Does that make sense? Potters. <laughs> They're looking kind of that general direction. I think they know Bob. Oh. <laughs> so, marriage is not for everybody. Now, I am a romantic. I love romantic movies. I like it when they end well, they end happy, happily ever after. I love Sound of Music, Captain Von Trapp, Maria. You know, they get married in the big church, they go off, you know, through the hills. I love those kind of happy endings. I love being a matchmaker. I've never been successful yet, but I love, I believe I have the gift. I have the gift. I'm trying to get people married all the time. I love being married. I've been married 37 years. I love being married. I want people to get married. Um, but I have to, I mean, this is what Jesus said, that not everybody's going to get married. So I might be doing them a disservice. Not only am I patch, maybe matching them up with the wrong people, which I've done sometimes, but, but I have a good heart. I have a good heart about it. Everybody should get married. But Jesus said not everybody is going to get married. So this is it. Let me just ask you some important questions. If you are not married, or you're not married, raise your hand. Okay, a few. If you're not married, are you seeking the Lord about whether or not you should get married and your future spouse? I've had the privilege of uh, being in the wedding service, officiating for three of my sons. And I've been able to say to each of the brides, 